Dude, hurry up. We're going to be late. Ooh, ooh, I think I cut myself. Oh, don't tell us our Swedish prince cut himself. Dude, that's... Is it that's, bad? That's bleeding royally. Royally, dude. What do you mean, royally? Yeah, it says right here in this book, it says, Queen Victoria was a carrier for the gene hemophilia. She passed the harmful allele for this X-linked trait to one of her four sons and at least two of her five daughters. What? Her son Leopold had it and died at age 30. Probably shaven. Yes, and her daughters, they were only carriers. They married into European royal families and spread hemophilia into Russia, Germany, and Spain. And I think you're okay though, man, because they don't say anything about Sweden. Look, sex-linked traits can be as dangerous as, well, blood disorders, or as benign as the colors of a calico cat. But how do they work? And, well, how can we keep them from affecting us? Stand back. To any hero trying to defuse this bomb, you know as well as I that all you need to do is cut the right wire to stop this from exploding. I'm going to help you by telling you it's the red wire. Red wire. Yep. But chances are they sent a man to do what most women could easily have done. And if that's the case, I know as well as you that there's a chance that you are red-green colorblind. You can't tell which color is which, and this bomb is going to explode. <laughs> okay, so this might be kind of an unlikely scenario, but it does bring up some interesting points. For example, did you know that colorblindness is 10 times more prevalent in males than females? Why? Like most things, the answer comes down to genetics. And genetics is all wrapped up in DNA. The DNA within each of our cells contains all the information to make every kind of cell found in our bodies. Now our human DNA is lumped into 23 paired chromosomes. Together they make our genotype. Certain pieces of this DNA, our genes, encode for different traits. In the most basic example, you get one gene from your father and one from your mother. The pairing of these genes determine the expression of our traits. However, there is one chromosome pair in humans that is different from all the rest, the sex chromosomes, known as the X and Y chromosomes. Although they're recessive, genes for colorblindness are found only on the X chromosome. Since males only have one X chromosome, colorblindness is more prevalent in males than in females. But let's dig a little deeper with some scientific help. A sex-linked gene is a gene that is present on one of the sex chromosomes. As you know, the difference between a boy and a girl is only in two chromosomes. One is called the X chromosome, and the boys have a Y chromosome. So a boy will be XY, and a girl will be XX. She will have two Xs, he will have one, but he will have also a Y chromosome. So these are uh, the sex chromosomes, and each one of them has genes on it. They work like any other gene that's present on the non-sex chromosomes, which we call the autosomes. Um, but they have different functions that may affect different parts of the body. So an example of a sex-linked gene, like I said earlier, could be a gene that is responsible for color vision, uh, specifically for green and red pigment. And uh, we know now that about 8% of males are colorblind. Now how these uh, sex-linked 
traits are passed from parents to children is really interesting. If the gene is on the X chromosome, for example, as you know, a woman will have two X chromosomes. And let's assume that we call them X chromosome 1 and X chromosome 2. When she's forming her eggs and the eggs are maturing, she's going to pass one or the other of these X chromosomes. Let's assume that the mutation of the gene that you're interested in, let's say color vision, is on X1 in her. She has a 50-50 chance when she's producing her eggs to pass either this X chromosome or that X chromosome to the egg. So any woman, is, uh, if she carries a uh, sex-linked uh, disorder or sex-linked trait, then she has a 50% chance of passing it on into her egg. Therefore, the male now, when he produces the sperm, has an X and a Y, and he's going, he has no choice. He will pass the X or the Y. If he passes the X, then there will be a girl who's a carrier like her mom. If he passes the Y, he's going to have a boy now who's affected with the trait because he's not protected by the other X chromosome. So we've learned that my red-green color blindness is due to the fact that I have a recessive allele on my X chromosome that isn't paired with another. We also learned that I got it from my mom. Thanks, mom. Our genes help determine so many traits in us. They make my eyes blue and give different people different color eyes. Today we discovered a case of expression whereby the alleles for color blindness are found on the X chromosome, making males more likely to express this recessive trait. But there are other forms of expression for genes found on this X chromosome. It's extremely rare to find a male calico or tortoiseshell cat. Why is this? Well, I'm going to leave this mystery for you to discover yourself. So dive into your books and the web and never stop exploring your world. Hey, Charlie. All right, you see the blue suitcase? Yeah. Okay, that's the bomb. I need you to defuse the bomb. I'm on the boss.